My name is Sandy Egg and welcome back to Bloxburg where we're creating our very own little mini town. In the last episode guys, we built this pretty sweet car dealership that a lot of you guys were asking me to build. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It's currently 6am in the morning, the sun is starting to rise, the sky is currently green right now. It's really, really weird. And today, we're going to be building our very own police station. Yes, guys, we built the fire station and that's pretty cool because it has like the, like the kind of ladders that go to the top. It has a little section for our pretend uh, fire engine. You got you to gotta, you gotta imagine that that's a fire engine. But just pretend, use your imagination. And I say this little area here, this little slot there, purely for building our very own police station. And I also ask you guys as well, when I do build the police station, should I build like a small little jail section? And uh, pretty much all of you said, Seniac, build a jail too. So we're gonna try and do that then. So what I'm gonna do is jump straight into build mode then. We ain't messing about guys, we are legit not messing about. And we got we got fairly, fairly quite a bit of room to be honest to play around with. So we're first gonna start with our walls then and how I'm gonna design it. Now I've got something pretty cool that I wanna try and do to the um, what you call it, the police station on the roof. I want to put like a, like a small little helipad if I can try and do it, which I think will look really, really cool. So we're going to start then by doing a wall like this. So I'm going to kind of create this effect, a big loop section there. And then we'll turn this here. Do I turn that bit there or, or is that looking a little bit too big? What if, if I, hold on, delete. Because, you know, I kind of need, I kind of need it like that for my idea for a helipad. Which is fine. Because then I want to build like a jail cell kind of like here coming off. So I'll make that come off like that there. And that's where the jail is going to be. Now it doesn't really mean, should I, it doesn't really mean that's going to be, the wall is going to be there. So um, what I do is, why if I, um... Because what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to think of it as if I'm doing it on the second floor. But it doesn't really matter to tell me about the second floor, because that can actually all change. So let me just play around with a few little designs then. So what if I do it like this? Right there. And that could be like the kind of like the, the, the police station there. Do you know what? That's going to actually work better. I'm going to delete these walls here so I can do a big long one. And it becomes one wall. So when we come to decorating it and colour scheming it, it should all be fine. Be nice. Be beautiful. So before I do a wall on the inside, I'm going to place down a door. Now the reason I'm doing a door first is so I know what kind of spacing I've got then for the rest uh, of your yeah boy's PlayStation. So we're going to get the doors down now. Where are the doors? There's the doors. Now what, 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 what's, what am I feeling towards being like a PlayStation door? I use that for the, uh, the fire station. And I'm thinking I do pretty much the same. We have the same kind of effect. The only difference is that the PlayStation is going to be blue. Now if I put the door there, so that's how you get into the police station, and then we do some walls. I'm thinking I do a wall across there, and how much space have we got there? If I do then something like, hmm, because I, I want to do like police cells. So I've got an idea for what I can do. I got an idea. We'll, we'll see how it turns out. Right. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna do some flooring. Now where's the flooring? There's the flooring there. We're going to generate some floor in there, which is going to be pretty mighty fine. And then I'm going to get a door down as well to kind of separate in between uh, these walls here. And then one side is going to be where the, the, the jail is, kind of like the, the mini prison. Uh, so I want, I want a decent door. I want a, like a, a, like a, you know, a good, solid, strong door. Which I'm thinking that should then be dead center. And then for fences, we're going to use that kind of the same what we use for the bank. With the vault in the back. So, let's see. Can I, is that pretty much straight? That's just pretty much as straight as you're going to get it. Hmm. How about if I... Let me delete that. I want to play around with a few little designs. So, let's go back to the fences then. So, if I do like something like that going all the way across. But then... Hmm... Do I turn it into two? Do we get, do we get like a medium grid? You can't really do a medium grid, can you? 
This is actually a tough one to try and split Aaron into two. So back to the fences now. It pretty much all comes down to messing around and playing with it and see what we can come up with. Now, if I move the door, we do have like a, a two gap. If I did it like that for the police cells, it just means that all I have to do then is move this door to here. That's how you go in. And then we got two little cells there. Now we don't have like like doors like this, so I can't really put a door down. We kind of have to pretend there is a door there, just like how we did with the bank. And that's where the cells are going to be. It's going to be pretty good, pretty good. So I'm also going to want to have uh, like like a stairs in there somewhere. Now, where should I place the stairs? I've got two options to what I can do because let me go to the second floor here. What I want to do for the walls here, if I continue this along there, free there, there, free there. Because I want to create like a helipad situation. Meaning I need to have, hmm, do I put it on top of like that or do I just put it on top of the building? Now I'm going to keep it like that, which basically means, right, I want to have uh, like at the stair going up effect. So we'll have stairs going in there, then we can come off into like maybe like a little balcony area where the ladders go up. That could, that could work. It could work. We shall see. Or should I centralize it to the building? Centralizing it could be look a lot better. I'm not gonna lie, it could look a lot better. Let's go back into build then. So centralizing it then, is it possible? There's free and free. So it would be a little bit difficult to centralize it if I did a four. Like that. How would that look? Nah, it doesn't really it doesn't really look like a police station then, does it? You kind of lose that effect. You really do lose that effect. Right, we'll go back into it then. We're going to stick to our previous plan. It's going to look so good. I've kind of messed that up already. <laughs> right, our previous plan, uh, plan then. Bringing that down there like that. It's going to look really, really good. So I'm not going to... This is going to be like an upstairs floor here. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to place the, the helipad there, but I do need some spacing for it. So... First things first then, what I'll do then, I'll go to the, no actually wait, 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 go to build, let's go to the stairs, no, 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 sorry, floor, generate that as a floor first, no, do you know what, I can't generate it as a floor first because I need to put stairs in there, so back into build then, uh, stairs, I will do stairs first, ladders, right, I can't place ladders down now because I need to do it on the next floor. But if I turn some ladders around there and place them pretty much there, we're kind of doing like very similar to what we did with the fire station. So when it comes to the floor in there, we have to manually place it all down. So back into the second floor. So we're basically just cutting out that little section there. Right, and generate that down. And then I'm going to basically want to do the same for the next floor. Uh, so stairs again. But I'm going to place it over here. And there's a good reason for this. So that's pretty much there then. And we go to the next floor where I'm going to do uh, the flooring. Now it's important to how I do this. So, because I want to create the H for the helipad. Like, you know, H for helicopter, basically. So I want to, again, cuss, like free place it down. And basically create a H, the letter H, in flooring like this. And I generate that. And then we leave a gap there for that next one. So if I go all the way around, like there, and then cut back in. So by doing this, it allows me then to color the different floors. So with the H being different, so it all looks like one solid color to begin with, but I can do something as simple as doing this. Changing that to like, for example, I don't know. What, what, what blue are we gonna go for? I'm not particularly sure what blue we're going to go for. Maybe that kind of blue. But it creates that H there, which looks like really good, doesn't it? I like that. I do really like that. And then we got the little gap there for the stairs, which is not too shabby. And I could do something 
as um, simple then for the back to the no that's fire fire places you damn foe fences do you something to go around to kind of block it all off i'm thinking like how how the gla glass fence look that would look really really good won't it look at that we got a slight ha um, helipad there kind of looks pretty legit doesn't it i do like that I do like that. So for here, this little section there then, we should actually place a roof on there, shouldn't we? So build roofing. I need to auto place. Do I need to go down the floor? No, I need to go here, don't I? So I just want to see how this will then look. If I try and rotate round. Well, I'm doing a flat roof, aren't I? I've just realized I'm doing a flat roof. Right, back into the roof then. I'm going to go for the, the, the kind of pyramid roof now. So. Wait, can I, can I not do it now? Ah. Where's that gone? Let me cancel that. This is, this is going to be very difficult. This is going to be very difficult to place this down now. So pyramid roof. Auto place. One there, one there, one there. Right, turn it around. Can I hide blocking objects? Yes. So there, like that. Right, does that work? Second floor. Yeah, but it don't look good. I'm not gonna lie to you, it don't look good. Right, roof. What's the best option then? I think it would be this maced roof would be the best option. I don't want to do flat roof. Don't want to do that or the hip roof there. Right, we'll try the maced roof now. So placing down our own then. Let me bring in the blocking object so I can right, see. Right, I've got the I'm roof doing. down now then. It doesn't look too bad. If I go, let me um, hide blocking objects again. If I go through the flooring. It cuts into there, which is kind of annoying. But it doesn't look too bad, though, does it? I think we can get away with that. I think we can get away with that. So let's place in some windows, then. Because we're going to need some windows. Uh, where's the windows up, then? So let's use... Oh, they got new windows in? No, wait, they got new windows in. Should we try and use some of these new windows? How do they look? It's like a factory window, isn't it? That'd be kind of cool to build a factory now. We'll stick with these ones. We've used these ones in the past. For like um, the fire station and whatnot. Right, let's get a large grid on. So one there. One there. I've got to be careful like where I place them now. In the rest of like the police station. What else we got to use? I go all fancy. Fancy, boy! But I keep it plain. So one there. One there like that. Second floor. We'll have one on each little section there. One there. No, 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 nice. And keep it like that. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? Right, colour scheme. So I'm going to basically turn that into the same type of door over there. Uh, this, again, same type of door. Just keep it all nice and white and basic. For the wall, then, this is going to be the interesting part. So I want it, I want it blue to signify the police station. And I think that is the, the perfect blue to go with. I want to keep it like a, a flat kind of blue as well. Like how we've done the bricks on this one. Just keep this one nice and flat. Oh, it looks so good. It's going to look so good, this is, this police station. Right, let's get the blue all down, then. I need to put, like, benches and stuff like that in the little prison cells. It's going to be beautiful. Beautiful, I tell you. Right, have I got it all? Yeah, I've got all that there. Let's go to the second floor, then. So, copy all this round, then. Uh, what am I going to do to the roof? Should I just keep, the like, the roof white? I think that would be, like, uh, the best option. Do I have a, a white roof over here? I do, but let me just change that there. 
that also needs to be white and uh, that too white just keep it all white and clean and plain it'll blend well within the blue and white textures and kind of you know design that we're doing for the walls and the windows and the doors as well yeah boy can't forget the doors Right, I really do like this blue. This is such a nice blue. And then the top floor here, this flooring, we'll pretty much do it white. So the H stands out. Just that little bit more. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Right, it's kind of cool. Right, first floor then. What I'm going to do then, before I do the rest of uh, the painting, we're going to throw some lights down so we can clearly see what we're doing in here. So light there. A light there. It's kind of clashing, but it provides us with what we need. Now, on this floor here, we should do something like uh, these like round garden lamps, or we can get the, the kind of piped ones, them there, the garden poles. And if I zoom in, put on a small grid, we should be able to get them pretty much touching each of these corners. So, Oh, my goodness. Some dude just donated 3000 three to me. Dude, I appreciate it. I need tons of money in this game. He just don't Oh, he just don't another hundred. Oh, he's the homie right there. Appreciate ya. Max Willis. Another hundred. Homie. 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 Right, so we've done... Now then. That's the first floor. The, um... And then one dollar. <laughs> that dude's crazy. Right, we did a flooring like that. The walls are pretty much the same. They're gonna be white all the way around. You, wanna, you just wanna keep it nice and neutral. Crisp and clean. Oh, somebody else donated 400. Guys, I appreciate the love like that. Readers really help me do a lot of, you know, things in the town. Because, you know, I have very limited money. And building this mini town is super expensive. So, even if, if it's just $1. It all helps, guys. It all helps. Right, let's get to the next floor then. So pretty much finish this off. And the, the, the second floor here is going to be kind of like how we've done with the fire station. It's a place where like, um, well, we can even do it a place where the police officers can hang out and chill. Or we can turn it to like, a, like an office where the, you know, the detectives are doing like undercover work, which is very secretive. Sounds quite cool, doesn't it? It legit sounds quite cool. Right, so we got all that in there. Let's back to the first floor. All right, uh, we've got ignoring checking fingers on there then. So we're going to go to decorate and we're going to go to, uh, where is it, comfort. Now, is there such thing as benches? Yeah, there is a ton of benches that we can place down. And that's pretty much what you see like in a holding cell or like a, like a small jail or something like that. Let's do an industrial bench. Put that large grid on there. One there and one there. And uh, they have toilets in the little cells as well. So we get to plumbing. And we get like a cheap toilet. One there. One there. I kind of missed out doing this wall here. There we go. So we've got toilets in the cells. In here then we need to like put like, like down a little desk. Like uh, so like you know. These, it's like the, the reception area to uh, the the police station. Now do I do it what I did very similar to this one. Or should I create like a PC table? Hmm. Let's see. Let's go for... Where's tables? There's tables. <clears throat> we could use like this, this little desk here. Which I think will be good. Or I can create like a big L. With like countertops. That would be the best option I think. Right. So what I'll do then. Right. Create that L there. Just so I can then place the countertops down. It's, it's like the perfect way to do this. Right, build. Your boy. No, no, decorate, sorry. Your boy wants them counters. Just plain counters. No messing about. One there, one there. One there, one there. Then we just delete the walls. Oh, they're not merging, are they? Hold on. Decorate. Countertops. We may have to place the wall down again. Just so I can get them to merge and become a corner. Right, build the criteria. Right, 
Right, is that now a corner? Right, that's as good as I'm going to get it, I'm afraid. They won't merge into it becoming a corner. Which is slightly annoying. Unless... Unless I do it for a third time. Right, hold on. If this don't work, no. Then fine. So be it. Do you know what? We got it. We, we got there in the end, guys. We got there in the end. So that's going to be like um, the reception-ish area. And we'll drop down a piece. Can I drop down a PC on it? If I go to like a small grid. Do you know what? No, you can't actually drop a PC on it, which is kind of annoying, isn't it? How about you have a little alarm clock? No. <laughs> what about like a little laptop? No, you can't even drop a laptop on it. It's kind of annoying, but, you know, what, what, what can you do? What can you do? Right, so we're going to go back and decorate in. We're going to go to comfort. And we'll drop down the little sofa here. It's kind of like a little mini waiting area section. Which is quite cool. Uh, and then let's get some decorate then. Let's get some, like, go into the all objects. And what can we throw down? We want, like, paperwork, because that's what police officers have. Tons of paperwork to do. So... Go into a med no, let's go into a small grid so I can randomly start placing it. Right, tons of paperwork down. It's never ending. It's a never ending job. You want a little nice little coffee mug there for the police officer doing his duty. We'll have a no, not a little stool. Little basic TV. No, I don't want a tea basic TV stand. I was thinking like, like a nice little table. We'll do a little welcome mat though. There we go. Nice little welcome mat. What else can we throw down? End table. That's what I wanted. Just throw one there. Give a little lamp on. No, 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 sir. Uh, get some pens as well. Multiple pen pots. For the beautiful. Beautiful police station. Have some curtains too. Why not? Jazz the place up. Just jazz it up a little bit. Right, uh, okay. So what else can we throw down then? I'm thinking we put some paintings on the wall. That's a photo frame. Not a painting. Full. Full, for full, full, full. Photo frame. That's another photo frame. I, I need I need the big paintings. Where's the big paintings at? Ooh, we'll place down some plants though. Like that right decorate then we're gonna go into decorations I'm gonna throw down oh a huge painting boys that's looking pretty swiggy swag though isn't it right second floor then this will be the offices area I'm not gonna do it like a little lounge like we did for the fire station it's gonna solely be where's the uh, tables now tables we want uh, IKEA desks so one there One there. We're doing them connecting. So it's kind of like a, you know, like an open office area. Um, because it's the police. Oh, don't tell me. I've got the, I've got to put the tables the right way around. Hold on. Because it's the police. Alright. Large. One, two, three, four. Yeah, like, like I said, because it's the police, they, they're going to get really small, terrible. Poo poo! computers to use because they don't really have a high budget right there you go boy so one there one there i think this is going to look hilarious uh decorate we need to then throw down the chairs like a, like a pc chair is going to look good there we go and let's get a few little uh decorations going down now maybe like a few plants and stuff like that all right we'll have a plant on each desk why not We'll have a poster on the wall. A couple of posters. That the police officers are placed up. Do some plants as well. Spruce the place up a bit. And here. What else could we throw down in here? I'm thinking something pretty cool. Hmm. We'll do a large... 
Can I do a large painting behind the, the thing? Yeah, let's add a little bit of texture to it. Looks pretty dope. I know, should have like a neon sign, like open. Like the place is always open. Boom! It's a 24 hour PlayStation! Looks pretty dope, doesn't it? I do like it. I legit do like it. So there's a few little things we can actually do now to finish this up. And that's going into the gardening section in the build mode here. We'll drop a tree or two, two down there. Just to jazz the place up a bit. There we go. And right, let's try and squeeze in a few little plants as well. So we do some trees falling. I've just noticed as well, they've actually now got rid of the uh, the snow. It's now all gone. I've only just legit realized that and noticed it. All right, throw a rock down. That's pretty dope, isn't it? Right, let's get out of build mode then. Whoa, so many people here. So many people. I didn't realize there's so many people there just chilling. Right, have I got bills to pay? Not quite. So everybody now is going to come and see your boys. PlayStation looking mighty fine, if I do say so myself. So what's cool about this then is it's got the, um, the helipad at the top there. So this is my PlayStation now, guys. Look at it. If I, if I zoom out, it's got the H there for helipad. We'll let any, everybody in. So we've got the jails here, the cells, where the prisoners are go behind the walls. It's like, your phone! Uh, you got the benches and the toilets. That's all they're getting. Like, you know, I'm not giving them a bed. Who do they think they are? This is where the police officers do their work and do their research and whatnot. And if I climb to the top now, this is where your boy's helipad is. It's kind of legit, isn't it? I do like this police station. So, guys, let me know what you think about this police station that we now just built. Also, if we had hired a police officer, what would he call? Would he be called, like, PC... PC fool or fool, you know, fool, inspector fool, fool the detective. I don't know, guys. Give me some pretty cool name suggestions in the comment section down below. But I hope you did enjoy this, guys. If you did, hit the like button down below. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. And uh, until next time, guys, we've legit built our very own police station. I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye. <laughs>